it's very important that you check your run out while you're in the cam chest because it can determine what upgrades you can install and also you find out about the longevity of your motor so the service limit for twin cam 88 so 99 to 06 is 3000 from 07 up uh, twin cam 96 10 thousands so the change happened because uh, for the high tolerance service limit because Harley changed the team cam bearing setup in 2003 and those bikes from 2003 uh, have the tendency to develop more excessive runout. This is a hot topic in the in the Harley world, right? So the general consensus is that up to 5,000, you're good to go and upgrade with a high pressure system like Screaming Eagle, Fueling, or SNS. I'm doing Screaming Eagle, hydraulic tensioner upgrade. Over 5,000, you might want to think about just upgrading to the 07 up stock system. So the stock cam plates, stock pump, tensioners, you need a set of conversion cams because the inner bearings from 2007 um, are, are different. And the reason being is that the stock system um, has higher tolerances, while the high pressure system like um, I mentioned Screaming Eagle fueling less and less, they have lower tolerances. Now, if you want to go for the bulletproof system, gear drive, uh, you have to have your run out under 3000. Now, checking your run out is quite simple with a run out gauge. Uh, you don't have to have the special tool, just get one of these cheap gauges. Um, they have a magnetic base. It's best to mount it on the engine. I'm using a this plate from the inner Canberra installation tool. So the bike is jacked up, the fifth gear, spark plugs are out. When you start turning the wheel, look for the lowest point of the needle and stop and just zero it out. So you can get a more accurate measurement. I've already done that. So my run out is just over 20 thousands. This is a metric gauge. So I just need to convert it. So 20, just over 20 thousands of a millimeter is basically just under thousands of an inch, which is very, very good uh, for this engine. So I'm very happy 